Geography plays a big part in, in, in human understanding. And living in South Africa gives you, uh, it gives you a certain freedom and, and a certain uh, safe, uh, level of safety. But it also narrows your understanding of the world. You don't quite interact with people as you would in, say, Egypt or India. And certainly not in London, perhaps the, the, the epicenter of, of uh, global multiculturalism. So it's, 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 it's where you are that determines how you think. Uh, in coming to America, I've, I've had to confront two things, now that you ask. One is the, the different, the changed conditions of, of, of America itself. Uh, and the other is that I was undergoing my own transformation. Uh, so I was being exposed to a different understanding of Islam in the West. And so my own understanding of Islam itself was converging with a new understanding of Muslims in the, mo in the modern world. I think one of the big lessons I've learned in America is, is, is that, uh, that, is that people are primarily concerned about their own welfare. That's the one, one thing. But more importantly, that Islam fully recognizes that. that human beings are primarily concerned about their welfare. And Islam fully recognizes that and accommodates for that. So you're concerned about your life, your possessions, your family. Islam tries to the extent possible that it does not impose on you the burden I know rhetoric says otherwise. You know, I'm going to give my life for Allah and I'm going to give my wealth for Allah. Islam tries to be very prudent about how it forces that upon you. It's not culture so much that, that, that challenges us as much as our understanding of, of culture. The, the, the big problem we, ha we have in this country, particularly amongst the enlightened, is that they consider culture as being something that is a part of a, a bigger whole, when in fact culture is the whole. Whatever human beings do, wherever they live, whatever they produce is culture. The religion they believe in, the foods that they eat, all fall within the rubric of culture. Religion is part of culture. Culture is not part of religion. If you do not un understand and confront the whole issue of what culture really means, you wouldn't be able to help people at the subcultural level who are trying to make, come to terms with, with their own cultural baggage. When, 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 when a Pakistani comes with his cultural bag, his Islam is in his bag. When Rasulullah gave us Islam in 7th century Arabia, it was culturally defined. It was Arab culture that defined Islam in, America, in Arabia. It was not an acultural religion. Islam is, 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 is very Arab-centered because it, it developed within an, a, an Arab milieu and absorbed elements of Arabian culture and addressed, removed aspects of that culture. That is an ongoing process. It's something that we are doing, perhaps more dramatically, but doing nonetheless in the United States. What, what Rasulullah did in 7th century Arabia is precisely what we have to do in this country. Separating that which is acceptable from that which is not, not acceptable. This is, this is a new territory, so, and it's uncharted, so we're gonna have to kind of feel our way through it. We, we, don't, we, don't, we don't have any precedence that, you know, well, this is what happened in 7th century and or the 12th century. The deeper challenge is to not just keep Islam relevant in the lives of, of, of Muslims in this country, but, but ensure or strive to make Islam a major contributor to the well-being of modern society.